How's it going, everybody? Really excited this time. We've got uh, yet some more Avengers vs. X-Men Gravity Feed Packs. <laughs> Haven't seen these in a little bit, so we have some fun opening them up. And we're looking, of course, for Serena or Gobby, but uh, who knows? Oh, I also need that. The rare Professor X, if I can get it. Nope, Sentinel, Uncommon, Six and Shield. All right, all right. Win Silver Silver Active. If your opponent has more life than you, clear, draw one die, extra dice, each clear and draw a step. And Professor X Principal. Six and a mask while Professor X is active. Your opponent cannot reroll dice during the roll and reroll step. He or she can pay two life to prevent this effect from this turn. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. No, no, I separated Yeah. Back number two. Deadpool. Deadpool and Apocalypse. Oh, Colossus Uncommon. Seven and a fist on X-Men. If Colossus damage your opponent, return Colossus to the prep area instead of the use pile. And Deadpool Assassin, when Deadpool attacks, you may assign an opposing character to block him. Very excited. I need the rare Professor X. I need a rare of a lot of these things. <laughs> I am so deficient in my collection for AVX. Oh, cool. Am I going to get them? Here we go. Let's try. Oh, cool. I don't have any Mr. Fantastics either. Oh, I love it when I call it like that. That's awesome. Professor X Charles Francis Xavier. I've been looking for this guy for a while now. Six in a mask. X-Men. While Professor X is active, your opponent cannot field characters. He or she can pay two life to prevent this effect for the rest of the turn. I'm very excited. That's an excellent control card. And then Mr. Fantastic, Brilliant Scientist. Three in a mask. Fantastic Four. Mr. Fantastic is plus two, plus two attack and plus two defense while blocking. It's got a global pay a mass target character must attack this turn. Cool. Very excited about that right there. <coughs> and pack number four. Ooh, we have a Spider-Man. <sighs> Spider-Man wall crawler is uncommon version four and a fist. If Spider-Man attacks and is not blocked, you may pay fist to fist to change your opponent's life to ten. Wow. Wow. And then Silver Surfer, Silverado, at the start of the attack step, if your opponent has more life than yours, Silver Surfer gets plus two attack and plus two defense. Once during your turn, pay a shield and take two damage to draw one die and place in your prep area. Very cool. Got him. That's the one I was looking for. That's the one you were looking for? That's definitely the one I was looking for. And pack number five. Magneto Gambit. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Magneto, former comrade, five in a mask for villain. Magneto gets plus two attack and plus two defense when engaged with an X-Men character. Don't like that contingency on there. And Gambit, ace in the hole. When fielded, you may draw and roll one die. Burst is instead, draw two die, roll one of them, and returns the other to your bag. Not bad, but of course I'm very excited about you that right Spark there. You man too, that's good. That's not Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Tyrannicus, the air guitar legend, the lord of the end times, world famous, international world, competing world famous. Tyrannicus. In fact. Look at this guy, he's even got a shirt on this time for us. He's fact. all excited. My pack opening. Thanks guys, talk to you soon. Hi everybody, this is Alakai. Today we are going to go over some... Well, some of the players that are interested in playing and continue playing and can't find um, organized play events or OP events in their area are always looking for another way to play or another venue. Now, it's easy to do when you're playing something like Magic because there's Magic Online and uh, there's a couple other um, cockatrice and there's other couple of programs that are established for it because they've been around for you know 20 years or whatnot, so they've already developed an online presence. For Dice Masters, it's not so easy because, of course, it's more than just the cards that are being played. You're playing of course, with dice and there's a lot of trust and questions that go along and rules and everything. So the, the community is just being developed. And I'm sure that WizKids is trying to establish if there's a need for, um, for that kind of investment. And they're going to get the return. Of course, they're a business, right? So what's actually happened kind of funny is that a lot of the players are getting online and they're going to a, pro, a, pro, a program called um, Google Hangout to play. 
there's Facebook groups um, that are there that are just basically called Dice Masters Online. Um, and there's other groups in there just called um, like Marvel Dice Masters or Dice Masters um, in Facebook. And I encourage everybody to take a look at those things because that's a, that's a great resource for you to meet up with other players. Um, there's also Dice Master Traders. Um, you can meet up with players and uh, trade your cards, get the ones you're missing and need. Um, there's also Reddit. Um, that's kind of more of a community of questions and discussion, whereas the Facebook groups are a little bit more um, focused, we'll say, on specific topics. Now, the one I'm talking about today is Google Hangouts. And uh, uh, one of the questions that comes up most frequently is, what is your setup? How do you set up your games? How are you playing um, Google Online against your others? And the basics are quite simple, really. Number one, you need to set up an account with Google. Um, I'm not going to go into the process of doing all that and, and doing the parameters, but you need to figure out how to get onto Google. And as a result of that, you're going to get onto Hangouts. You're going to want to download the app for that. And Hangouts is their program that's uh, kind of like Skype, as far as I know, in which you get on and you can, um, you can host and you can also be a part of online discussions. Um, my suggestion is, everybody kind of saw me open these little mats up here, get yourself a smaller mat. The larger mats are just too big, they take up too much space. Um, everything about Google Hangouts is about really condensing the space that you have and you're going to need. So you want to get yourself a small mat, even this is uh, a little bit big. I've seen people just use uh, card size um, areas, fielding, attack and everything. Um, and then. When it comes to your cards, all you're going to do is you're going to put a card down and you're going to put the dice on top of it, whatever the dice is right on top of it, because um, you want to condense it as much as possible. You don't want to use too much real estate, in other words. Now, that's that being said, um, there's some fancy devices that you can get. Um, a lot of times I've seen people use things like uh, uh, tripods. This one I just have kind of a travel tripod that just stands stands up and you extend the head up for it and then you can you can extend the head up for it if I can there and you can extend the legs out for it and you point the camera face straight down so you just get the head off and then uh, what you do is you basically take the little the camera adapter off and you can attach a little device to it and this little bracket here, um, something that I, I actually had for a while, um, because I used to use a tripod to see about if I was going to play golf or not, I used to tape myself on my iPhone, and then you could do you get a bunch of analysis programs and stuff. But uh, what people are doing is they're getting a bracket like this, and they're sticking their iPhone on top of it like this, and they latch it back onto their tripod, and they point it down, and then they can see, they're using, they're using that as a camera, so they can actually see uh what they're going on and they can transmit that on the Google Hangouts. All right, that's, that's all well and fine and everything, but then um, as I discovered while playing online with uh, um, a fellow member there, the battery runs out, your phone just like starts heating up and it's uh, it's quite possibly bad for it, I think, but um, and a lot of people are doing it with a lot of success. They're just kind of using it as being a camera. Now, another little being the little gadget guy I am, I also just had a simple webcam. And my webcam is just a little Microsoft, I don't know, it's like a high definition one. It only transmits to 720, it uses compressed video, so I can't really use it for videos like these. But this is just connected to my uh, my computer, USB. I think I picked this up for about 25 bucks. And a lot of people are using this, and this type of thing, and they are just attaching it to piece of cardboard or something behind. This is just foam board here. They're touching it behind. They're just pointing it straight down so they can see the the board. Well, that's all great and fine and dandy again, but I have another conundrum there is that I just don't have the space for that. I don't have anything behind me or in front of me that I can actually do that to. So what I actually do is I have an arm <laughs> that I bought and it's gonna, it's, it looks it might look long here, but it's got a little clamp on the bottom here and I just take my little arm there and I place it in front of me, so basically I'm hugging this thing. I place my camera here, and I face it straight down over my mat. That way I don't have to deal with any kind of flipping or anything like that. Um, but the only problem is, like again, I'm hugging this thing, right? The uh, the the little 
stem for it here is relatively thin, but uh, still kind of annoying. But it projects very well. You can see the entire board. Um, this stays still. It just attaches very light. Um, it, it attaches to my desk here, like that. And then I just put my camera there, and it projects straight down. And I can see what I'm doing. And I find that uh, this setup just really cost me about, uh, if you count the camera, all right, if you want to count the camera fund, that's like 25 bucks I picked up on Black Friday. Um, and I'm sure that there's very cheap versions and very cheap alternatives. And then I got this little clamp thing. I think it's actually called the lazy phone clamp. And people use this kind of thing so that they can actually bend it around and you bend it to hold the shape. They bend it around and they use it for watching videos or something in bed <laughs> with their phone. Well, this goes for about eight bucks on eBay. And that's where I got it from. Um, and uh, it got to me in uh, two days or so. And so with a investment of about, I don't know, 30 bucks or so, 35 bucks, if you will, if you don't already have a camera, you can get on Hangouts. And then you jump in a community like what I was talking about before, that Facebook community, and you can find people to play. And um, I'm gonna tell you right now that if you think that you're only gonna be able to find games um, at certain times, um, I, you can find games all the time. Reason being is that we are not just limited to the United States. Um, there's a lot of people in the UK there. I play a guy who's from Sweden, so his time zone is good. I also play a guy who's in Austin, Texas, who uh, is just about two hours from here, or two, I'm sorry, two hours ahead of me here. So the time differences really make up for a lot. There's people playing right now, um, and they just go into these forums and they say, hey, anybody up for a game? And you just say yes. You send them your email address and all of a sudden you can transmit and talk to them. Sometimes they're gonna wanna use YouTube. Um, sometimes they're gonna wanna use uh, like a, um, how would you call it? A, uh, a live feed. And other times they're just gonna wanna play. It's a great way for you to meet the community, for you to try out those decks. There's no competition. Uh, I think they're planning on doing some kind of competition in the future. And it's a good way for you to meet um, other people and explore, ask questions. Um, new players are there all the time. Um, sometimes uh, you can just go and uh, meet some new guys and uh, just talk about different things and different aspects of the game. And, and it really fosters a great community. So I, I really like it and I thought it would be important to share here. Uh, hopefully you found out of interest. And... And hopefully I'll see you on uh, Hangouts. Take care. Thanks, guys.